Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. A new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18.312 for Windows Insiders on the fast ring. Not a huge amount of changes in this build, but there is one new feature which I want to show you, and it's called reserved, uh, and it's about reserving disk space on the system for updates. So if I go to storage and uh, show more categories, look at system reserved, you'll be able to see that Windows has actually reserved some storage space for itself. Um, so even if the disk fills up, there's still 10 gig locked out for Windows. That means that you won't get the message saying Windows can't do the update because you need to free some space up. So um, this is grab that space. It also helps with the running of Windows in general. Uh, good for devices with limited fact storage on it. Well, any devices really, just to prevent those shocks of, uh, of the hard disk being full when you're trying to do an update. To enable this, you had to have done it in a previous build. So you had to go into RegEdit, into this key here, local machine software, Windows, current version, reserve manager, turn that to one, that's shipped with. And then after it installs a new build, that feature will be on. I think on clean installs of, this, uh, of these builds, it will be on by default. Maybe they'll create a dialogue for that, I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, I've enabled that in the previous build. I've got a guide on the digitallifes.com on how to do it, and there you can see I've got that enabled. Other than that, all the changes are fairly minor, really. They've, um, there's some FS, FLS slot limits increase, which is fiber local storage. So digital workstations using lots of audio plugins were hitting a limit. Now, um, this limit has been re uh, um, removed, so, that's a, so that means it, it's, you can have more plugins running on your audio system. Uh, they've updated the Windows Reset UI as well, making that a bit clearer. But other than that, that's all the changes. There's uh, other minor fixes, like they fix some issues with network share. Uh, when using a network share in File Explorer in Dart Theme, black text would appear so you couldn't see it. And they fixed some issues with Microsoft Edge and USB control. And there's still a lot of known issues as well. Um, the main one I can see is Windows Security may show an unknown state. Uh, for virus threat protection after a reboot and um, maybe issues with sandboxes as well if you're running multiple gpus I'll tell you one thing i did find though after going to restart this build uh, after going up to updates and, and restart it said uh, you know restart now i hit that and it said we can't do that at this time or something like that and i you know no pressing wouldn't do anything so the only way i could get it to work was to reboot Go back to the screen and then press the button and it and it worked and that installed the build. So that's it for these changes. Microsoft are getting towards I guess the middle to end of their development of 19H1. It's all about minor fixes in polish, I think, this time. Um, April time it may be released, but we'll have more videos on our YouTube channel, so please subscribe. Go to the and at iSticks on Twitter.